Welcome back to Strange Historical Tales, where we unearth the most mysterious chapters of history. Today, we delve into one of the most enigmatic and debated military experiments ever reported, the Philadelphia Experiment, where history, science fiction, and conspiracy theory collide. Legend has it that in the autumn of 1943, amidst the turmoil of World War II, the U.S. Navy conducted a top-secret operation aimed at rendering a ship invisible. The USS Eldridge, docked at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard, was reportedly cloaked from enemy devices using electromagnetic fields designed to bend light around the ship, a concept rooted deeply in theoretical physics. The experiment wasn't without its horrifying repercussions. Sailors supposedly suffered from severe physical and mental disturbances. Some were said to have been fused with the ship's metal structures, while others vanished completely, only to reappear with devastating psychological effects. These alleged accidents have fueled endless debates and investigations, blurring the lines between science fiction and military reality. The story's intrigue didn't fade with the war. It inspired the 1984 cult film The Philadelphia Experiment, bringing a cinematic interpretation of the shadowy tale to audiences worldwide, further cementing its place in popular culture. Join us as we step back into the dark days of 1943 to uncover the truths and the myths surrounding this mysterious military endeavor. What was the Philadelphia Experiment? A breakthrough in quantum mechanics? A horrifying military blunder? Or merely a wartime myth? Let's peel back the layers of this legendary tale. The origins of the Philadelphia Experiment trace back to the scientific and military developments during World War II. At the heart of this legend is the quest for technological supremacy, particularly in naval warfare. The alleged experiment was reportedly inspired by concepts related to Albert Einstein's unified field theory, which aimed to describe the interrelationship between the electromagnetic and gravitational forces. Although Einstein never completed this theory, the experiment supposedly applied some of these principles to achieve optical invisibility. The target of this experiment was the USS Eldridge, a cannon-class destroyer escort newly commissioned by the U.S. Navy. According to the lore, the choice of the ship was based on its particular size and construction, which purportedly made it suitable for the equipment necessary to generate the electromagnetic fields envisioned in the experiment. The experiment was said to be a part of a larger military project called Project Rainbow, which sought innovative methods to win naval battles and protect ships from enemy radar detection. The project was allegedly conducted in strict secrecy, as the potential strategic advantage it could provide was immense. Naval officials hoped the technology could be a game-changer in the ongoing global conflict, offering a way to transport ships and possibly even troops undetected. The preparations involved outfitting the USS Eldridge with a series of generators and coils capable of producing a powerful electromagnetic field around the ship. The theory was that this field would bend light waves around the ship, rendering it invisible to the naked eye and enemy detection technologies. This rich background sets the stage for what would become one of the most controversial and talked about military experiments in history. As preparations were underway, the line between scientific possibility and science fiction began to blur, leading to an event shrouded in mystery and ripe for legend. In the fall of 1943, as the world was engulfed in the throes of World War II, a shadowy experiment was purportedly underway at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard. It was here, among the clangs of metal and the rush of the Delaware River, that the USS Eldridge was poised to become the centerpiece of a military trial that would stretch the boundaries of reality. The U.S. Navy, driven by the war's desperate demands for technological supremacy, was rumored to be attempting the unthinkable, to render a ship invisible. Dubbed the Philadelphia Experiment, the goal was to cloak the USS Eldridge from enemy radars. The theoretical backbone was said to be derived from Einstein's unified field theory, suggesting the electromagnetic fields could bend light around the ship, creating an optical illusion that would effectively cause the vessel to vanish. On that chilly October morning, with the war raging far beyond the shipyard's confines, the air around the dockside was electric with anticipation. Technicians scurried over the deck of the USS Eldridge, adjusting large, peculiar-looking generators and a complex array of coils. As the switch was thrown, a deep hum filled the air, growing in intensity until a greenish fog began to envelop the ship. Eyewitnesses, peering through the misty morning, watched in awe as the eldritch shimmered and then seemed to dissolve into the air, leaving nothing but the churning waters of the Delaware River where the ship had been. Legends later whispered of the vessel's brief appearance in Norfolk, Virginia, 
a ghostly image that flickered into existence hundreds of miles away before returning to Philadelphia as mysteriously as it had left. The immediate aftermath, as recounted in the lore, was one of horror and confusion. The crew members who allegedly survived the experiment were said to suffer from a range of severe and bizarre medical and psychological issues. Some sailors were reported to have been fused with the ship's metal, suggesting molecular disintegration and reintegration gone awry. These victims, if they survived, faced grotesque injuries that were beyond the medical understanding at the time. Survivors supposedly suffered from severe mental trauma. Reports included cases of sailors who became invisible and then reappeared, some of whom were left with lasting invisibility. Others allegedly experienced episodes of freezing, becoming motionless for hours as if stuck in time, with an ability, some said, to phase through physical objects. There were whispers of more profound effects, such as sailors who had glimpses of the future events and who experienced shifts in time. The Navy purportedly launched a quiet investigation into the incident. The results of this investigation, like much of the experiment, remain cloaked in mystery. Any findings were quickly classified, the project was allegedly shut down, and efforts were made to purge all evidence that had ever occurred. This veil of secrecy only fueled further speculation and conspiracy theories. The experiment also raised profound questions about the ethical dimensions of using human subjects in potentially dangerous military experiments. It challenged the scientific community to consider the moral implications of such research. One practical outcome that has been tangentially linked to the broader concerns raised by stories like the Philadelphia Experiment is the tightening of security around technological research and broadcasting to prevent unauthorized uses and leaks. The Philadelphia Experiment remains a cautionary tale about the reach and overreach of human ambition and the shadows that can linger when science and ethics collide. As we close the chapter on the enigmatic Philadelphia experiment, we're reminded of the thin line between science fiction and military secrecy. Whether it was a bold step into the unknown or just a shadow cast by the flames of wartime rumor, the story leaves us pondering the limits of human endeavor and the mysteries that might forever remain unsolved. If you enjoyed this dive into the depths of historical enigma, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Strange Historical Tales. Share your thoughts on the Philadelphia Experiment. Do you believe it was a breakthrough, a blunder, or simply a myth? Join us next time as we unravel more mysteries from the annals of history.